Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda. I'm happy that you're here to hang out with me today. And currently I am hiding in my daughter's bedroom. I got two great big bags from Dollarama. I wanna show you guys everything that I bought. I actually ended up going to two different Dollarama stores looking for certain things. I found some things, I didn't find some other things. So naturally I'll be going back to the Dollarama at some point. There are so many Dollaramas. Do you live in Canada? If you do, how many Dollaramas do you have within a one hour drive from your house? I think I have more Dollaramas than grocery stores, which is kind of crazy. <laughs> one of the main things that I picked up was chips. We're a chip family. Chips, cheesies, pretzels, popcorn. It's a side dish, okay? If you don't like it, whatever we do especially when it's summertime and especially when we're packing lunches to go somewhere or um, to go for a picnic, car drive, road trip. I mean, it's chip season. The Jays are playing, okay? Um, so I bought a lot of chips and every time I go in and buy all of these chips, um, I always get comments like, oh, are you doing a canteen or... Um, oh, you having a party? Um, I wish I could come to your house because actually there are so many. <laughs> I don't care if you judge me. It's fine. <laughs> bags of small size chips they're not like the smallest size you can get it's like a nice serving size bag at Dollarama they're $1.25 and they're a little bit bigger than the ones that you can buy like in the box at Costco um, I actually would say there's actually probably double the amount of grams in each bag 64 grams in these ones like it's just more food um, and then my kids don't feel like they need to bring two. Like one is enough, you know. Um, and also you can buy them like grouped together. But it's a smaller size bag. And also usually there are kinds that my kids won't eat. Um, like, yes, we're Canadian. None of us like ketchup chips. Like why do you like ketchup chips? It's like you take a chip, you dip it in ketchup and you eat it powderly. It's, I don't, I've never understood. I don't like ketchup chips. Um, and like, there'll be ones like sour cream and onion, which I love. Sure. My kids aren't going to eat them. So either I'm going to eat them or I'm going to throw them out and likely I'll eat them. And I really don't need salt and, or what is it called? Sour cream and onion. Salt and vinegar is another one. Anyways, my kids are picky. So I prefer buying ones that they'll actually eat, even if I end up paying more um, than I would have if I bought them in a box. I'm getting more and I'm getting the kinds that I like. This is a very <laughs> long conversation about chips and they are that important to us. Okay. Also chocolate bars. Now I got more than just chips and chocolate bars, but, um, my daughter actually right now while I'm filming this, it's a long weekend here in Canada. Um, the kids actually have, um, school off on Friday and, um, there's no school on Monday because it's a holiday. I thought it was for Queen Victoria's birthday, but like, I don't know if that's still what we're celebrating or if it's like King's Day now. I don't know. Canadians were under the British monarchy and stuff, but I don't, it doesn't actually matter to me. Sorry. Um, I used to have a huge crush on Prince Harry though and Prince William when they were little because have you seen them when they were younger and I was younger? It was obvious, okay? Um, Winnie's favorite chocolate bar is dairy milk. Got crap ton of those. Got some Mars bars, Curtis and Cooper, love them. These are Skylar's favorite caramel and everyone's favorite M&Ms. Honestly, movies are coming. I cannot wait for The Little Mermaid. We always bring extra snacks with us to the movies. And we buy food there too. Don't judge us. <laughs> I'm so excited. There have been like teasers coming out about The Little Mermaid and the music and everything. I 
I'll film it when we go because I also got a surprise for Winnie when we go. Um, it's girls trip. We're taking Luthia and my sister Kimber and Winnie and it's going to be so fun. And I honestly, I know the live remakes don't always come up to what you expect. Um, but whatever the case may be, I enjoy these moments with my daughter and I got something to make it extra special. So wait to see what that is. Um, also glossettes. I actually really like these. They're actually quite good. Um, but Curtis likes to take these in his lunch to work. So we got those. Um, okay. Actually, let's just get all the food out of the way. I also got these rice crackers. Um, they're gluten-free. Winnie likes to have them for her breakfast snack at school. So I got two packages of sesame and two packages of the plain. All right, that's all the food out of the way. Now, this is your reminder, friends, Father's Day. Father's Day is coming, all right? Go to Dollarama now before it's all picked over and get your Father's Day cards for a dollar instead of spending like $12 or more on a card at Walmart or Hallmark or anywhere else where you buy your cards. Ridiculous, or just make your own with a piece of construction paper, okay? <laughs> um, but I always enjoy the Dollarama card section. It's, I don't know, man. Winnie gets invited to every birthday party, which I'm so grateful that she has so many friends. It's wonderful, but as a mom, you know that it's expensive. Um, so also like if you're trying to buy presents every time, it's kind of annoying. So basically we put between 20 and $30. Honestly, it just depends on how much cash mama has in her wallet um, in a card. And so I like to keep cards on hand. Um, the last few times that I've gone to the Dollarama, I don't think I filmed it, um, but I've picked up cards. Like we have a stash of birthday cards at the house currently. So I just wanted to look and see what else they had. And while I was looking through the birthday cards, I was like, oh shit, let's grab some Father's Day cards. I'm going to show you the ones that I got. I'm going to tell Curtis not to watch this video because I got one for him too. Is this? Oh yeah, this is the one for my dad. Okay. <laughs> the one I got for my dad's the best. So, okay. Birthday cards. Mario. All right. Peaches, 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 peaches. I love Jack Black. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, peaches, peaches, peaches. If you haven't watched the Super Mario Brothers movie in the theaters, that's fine. When it comes out, please watch it. It's, it is so good. It is so good. We went all together. Actually, Skylar was not with us. I think he was doing something with his girlfriend. I think they were shopping for prom or something. They have a busy life too. So, but Cooper loved it. Curtis and I loved it. Winnie loved it. And we stayed to the very end because people don't know there are these like little secret films after the movie is over. So there was actually two with the Super Mario Brothers movie and it ended with an Oshi, a Yoshi egg about to hatch. Because that was one thing Curtis was like, Yoshi is Curtis's favorite. He always plays Yoshi when he's doing um, Mario Kart, which there was Mario Kart in the movie twice, amazing. Um, but he missed Yoshi and then number two is gonna have Yoshi. It was just oh, so exciting. Um, okay, so we got that one. This is another Father's Day card. And I think, is this a birthday one? Oh yeah, this is, okay, so I got two for Curtis, you guys. I got this one. These are all a dollar, okay? Look at this. It's gonna be from Jasper to Curtis for Father's Day. <laughs> okay, it says, who's a good dad? You are, yes you are. Oh, look at him, he's such a good dad. Yes he is, and is that on my dog? Is that not Mr. Jess Master? Oh my goodness. Happy Father's Day to the guy who always makes me feel so good. I mean, that is absolutely perfect for Curtis. So I got that for him. That one's for my dad. I always, I don't know, wives, do you do this? I always buy the cards for my husband's parents too. I used to always buy, um presents for them too but after like after I had Winnie I was like you know what they're your parents <laughs> you do it so I still do buy cards though because I don't even think Curtis ever thinks of the card um I'm trying to see which one was which because uh, okay this one 
This must be for Curtis. Okay. I always, sorry, my dad has a really good sense of humor. Um, Curtis's dad is quite a bit more conservative. So um, we got him a more conservative uh, Father's Day card. Dad, you are smart, fun, caring, and all around great. Thanks for passing along your good genes. Happy Father's Day. That's for my name, Jeff. <laughs> That's for Jeff. Um, okay. Which one is the one I got for Curtis? I think this is the one I got for Curtis. Okay. Okay. Um, but this could work for my dad too. So I might switch it up, but I don't think so. And this says, hello, how are you? I hope you're having a really great day for, oh wait, this isn't even a father's day card. This is another birthday card. Okay. So maybe this is just another birthday card. I don't know. I don't know. But it says for your birthday, I thought you'd like a card with a real nice ass on the cover. <laughs> So obviously this would not be for Winnie to take to a birthday party, but this for sure would be one that um, the boys could take to one of their friends um, for a birthday party. Because they, even as teenagers, they still have birthday parties sometimes. Okay, so this one is the one for my dad. And I, if dad, if you're watching, mom, if you're watching, turn off the video. Okay. Um, but you guys know parents and kids sometimes have relationships that are difficult and um, I find Mother's Day and Father's Day actually quite difficult for me personally um, and I love my parents so just being real it is difficult so I always have the absolute hardest times with cards because of things that have gone on in the past that sometimes makes relationships difficult and even though you know, things have happened that maybe we're still not over and we have some trauma. Um, it doesn't mean I still don't love them and still want them to know that. It's just, it's difficult for me. Okay. And people think they know, like, this is just as a side note, you don't. Okay. You don't. And you don't get to decide what my experience was. Okay. Just saying. Anyways, this card is perfect for my dad. Dad, when it, when it came to parenting, you kicked ass. <laughs> and that is a double meaning, okay? I'm a grown up. I can say that now. Ass, ass, ass. Happy Father's Day. <laughs> Literally could not be more perfect for my dad. It is currently spring. It's about to be summer. And that means it is perfect air drying conditions outside for clothes. So one thing about me is if there are bugs, I don't want to go. Okay. I have OCD. It is a control issue. It is anxiety ridden. That is exactly what OCD is. It is all about anxiety. Um, and that's one of my gifts I've been given. Yes, I'm medicated, but I'm still me. So I cannot have a clothesline, okay? I can't do it. I had to do it when it was a kid, when I was a kid. Um, way too many experiences with bugs. It freaks me out. So I can't have a clothing line. But a few years ago, or a clothes line, I could have a clothing line, okay? <laughs> um, but a few years ago, I got a stand up hang to dry thing that I use in the house. I got it at Costco um, and it works fantastically. I do hang up a lot of my clothing to dry, like leggings, the kids' jerseys and stuff. Some things just can't go in the dryer um, and you need to hang them to dry. So that's what I do. Usually I do it in the house. Um, but now where it's getting nicer, I, I don't know if it's because of my medication that I'm on, which makes me a little bit more okay. I'm itchy. I'm itchy. It makes me a little bit okay about the bug thing. Um, but I have to... Okay, I can hang up clothes outside on my deck. Only on my deck. It cannot be on the ground. Sorry, this is... It's, I'm not faking. <laughs> um, it's got to be on the deck and it can't be out for too long. I can never leave it overnight. I can never leave it um, like... If there, if it's like June buggy or black flies, like I, there are certain conditions which my anxiety will let me put clothes outside. Okay. <laughs> you guys, am I too open? Do I tell you too much? Have I scared everyone away? Anyways, <laughs> it's fine. 
Um, right now I'm okay with putting clothes on the thing outside and let them dry. And then I bring them back in. I shake them all really carefully. And, um, we'll be, 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 before I bring them back in, I shake them. And then I remove the little stander thing and bring that inside as well. If things aren't all the way dry, but the conditions are not suitable for me anymore, I will bring the entire thing back inside and let it finish hanging to dry in the house, which scares my dog because he doesn't like that thing. It's too big. He is terrified of big things that move sometimes. So I think I gave my dog anxiety, whatever. Um, but so because one of my prime conditions for hanging my clothes outside is it has to have a breeze. If there's no breeze, the bugs will stay in my, I know that may not be true, but it doesn't actually have to be true. I just have to believe it. Okay. Um, so I got clothes pins, right? So I just saw it the other day when I put some stuff out, it was hella windy. Things were blowing everywhere. And I was like, Ooh, if I had clothing pins, then, um, these wouldn't fly away. And I will never have a clothing pin. My mom used to have this dress thing. It was like sewed together and the clothing pin stayed outside at all times. And you had to actually put your hand in the bag to get the clothing pins out. I, you guys, <laughs> everyone knows how manic I am about bugs in my family, by the way. Like this is nothing new. I've been this way my whole entire life. Um, so pe people just laugh at me, even though it is actually majorly, tra even just talking about it is triggering me. So like, <clears throat> no. So my bin, this is what I got for me. It will stay inside at all times. Um, well, I guess I'll bring it out while I'm using it, but I'll bring it right back in. But I got this little thing. They did actually have some of those like little dresses at the Dollarama and like that you, if this isn't making sense to you, then maybe this was just an East Coast thing, but people would sew these things. They looked like dresses with little aprons. They would hang up and had a pocket in it for all the clothing pins to go in. And um, they had those at Dollarama. They weren't as nice as like the fancy ones my mom would buy at like farmer's markets and stuff. Um, but they were there and I... I picked one up and I was like, no, I can't, like, I can't go back. Like it, it instantly made me feel like there were going to be bugs in there. If, oh, you guys, if, oh, I should stop filming right now. <laughs> I think it's, I've just become too comfortable here. <laughs> um, and like, there are people here that watch these videos that know me. It's weird. <laughs> it's weird. Um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I just got way too many thoughts about earwigs in places. Um, anyways, I got these. I didn't even get the wooden ones that my mom used to have. I am doing it completely different. So it's not going to result in the same things that would happen at home. But anyways, got these clothing pins. They're adorable, right? I got two packages, a dollar 50 each. And I got this cute little basket, $2 to put them in. Okay. Okay. Moving on. I got a hairbrush, a wet brush. Cute, right? I absolutely love this. Meet the mini detangler. Okay, my daughter is Rapunzel and her hair is getting so long and it's summertime. We're going swimming. We're going to the beach. She's going to friends' houses and stuff. We just need as many brushes as we can get our hands on basically because I don't know why, but in this house, these get lost just like socks. But I don't think Jasper eats the brushes. He does take the socks. Um, also for laundry... I, I have no reason, I don't know why this happens, but my clothes that come out of my washing machine that hang up, usually the ones that go in the dryer are fine, but the ones that get hung up, they are the most dusty, lint-ridden things, especially Curtis's uniforms. Um, they get like it's like this white crust all over them. I don't know why it happened ever since I got a new washing machine. I've used the off fresh. I've washed my washing machine. I think it's just like a very vigorous washing machine and it just stirs up dust. I don't know. So we need these and these ones smell good. They're gain. And I actually did buy um, a big pack from Costco. I'm still itchy. A big pack from Costco not that long ago 
Um, but it's not paper. The ones with the Costco ones, which you think they'd be the best ones you can buy, right? They are like a clear plastic and they suck. They truly suck because the plastic rips up while you're rolling and you just get like 16 sheets of plastic rolled off your thing. So I'm only going to buy the ones that you can tell it's more of a paper material because those plastic ones, they ain't shit. Winnie has a friend coming over actually tonight for a sleepover. So I thought these would be cute because of course they're going to be on their devices and playing Roblox and stuff. But I would love to have like another option like go outside. Yes. Um, but just saying the black flies are horrible right now here. Um, that's probably another reason why I'm really itchy right now because my mom was just here and Curtis and I were helping her with something um, in her car with her Bluetooth weird situation we were trying to fix it and the black flies were everywhere and also right before mom got here we took jasper for a walk the black flies are just really bad here right now um anyways so if they want something to do i thought these would be cute i thought these were adorable you guys know back in the day like going on a road trip your mom would buy you one of these with a little four pack of markers in the um package for you to do in the dodge caravan while you're going across canada um, anyways, that was just me, but I got these cool. They don't have markers with them, but we got tons of markers here, probably better markers than they would have provided if that had markers with it. Anyways. And the last thing I got, I was so surprised that they had these at Dollarama because I kid you not, I bought one of these for my daughter for Easter and I bought it from a store called Showcase. It's in the mall. It is Fan flipping tastic. I love that store. It's like the as seen on as seen on TV um, store. <laughs> um, that's actually what it like used to say, like as seen on TV. But now it's like basically anything that's seen online, like viral things that everybody wants to buy. They have them. They're not cheap, but they have a lot of things there. Um, these were nine dollars and ninety nine cents when I bought it at Showcase. These are five dollars at the Dollarama. So I got four. Honestly, I don't even know. I thought maybe I would let Winnie and her friend Riley each have one today um, and then maybe put two away for like a rainy day or someone's birthday where you want to give a little something to go with their card and their money. Um, or I bribe my daughter sometimes to take medicine because she will throw it up and you will cry because <laughs> I, 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 I've cried so much over medicine. It's sad. Like I have, I am, if, if I am nothing at all, but this, I am a good mom. I am fully on team kids all the time. And I cannot stand to see my kids upset. Like I, if, if one of my kids is unhappy, I am unhappy. Like at all times. And I, I'm a softie. I really am. I'm a boss bitch. Okay. But I am a soft kid. And uh, so I will do whatever it takes to make my child take the medicine that they need when they need it. But luckily, knock on wood, my dad made this. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, knock on wood. We've been healthy lately. Okay. That's the haul, you guys. Sorry I had to talk about bugs because I just need a shower now. I'm sweating so much. Can you tell? Can you tell how? Yeah, you can tell. It's we all got issues, okay? <laughs> I got issues. You got them too. Everybody's got them. Some people are just better at hiding them. And some people make videos and put it on the internet and just talk real. And that would be me. I love you guys. Have a great day. I'll see you back here again really soon. Bye.